my remarks today was a KYW story about Spanish billboards that I heard last week. In 12 days, Philadelphians will have the opportunity to exercise their constitutional right to vote. In 12 days, Philadelphians will have the opportunity to exercise their constitutional right to vote without voter ID. Thanks to an October 2nd decision by Judge Robert Simpson, voters now able to vote without showing a state-approved photo identification. Why, then, I ask, are voters in Philadelphia still seeing advertisements on websites, billboards, billboards, and television that read or depict the person holding up a photo ID where in the script says, if you have it, show it. A spokesman for the Pennsylvania Department of State told our Daily News, a Jan Ransom, that their ads concentrated primarily in urban areas will not be removed. I wonder why. These ads are confusing, and for sure, they are misleading. We need to salute the many who have taken leadership on this issue, namely Commissioner Stephanie Singer, Council Members Maria Quinones Sanchez, Councilman Jones, and Councilman O, and former City Councilman Juan Ramos, who actually heads up the Delaware Valley Voter Registration Education Project. Despite the advocacy of these leaders, there still may be a large segment of the Philadelphia population who continue to believe that they must provide photo ID. We can never assume that voters follow every judicial case that is handed down. People are busy, working multiple jobs, taking care of their children and grandchildren. These same citizens rely on leaders to provide clear, factual information that allows the voting process to be not only easy and accessible, but honest. This advertising campaign does not pass the test. So, Mr. President, we all know that every vote counts. One of my horror memories is 2000, when George W. Bush was elected president because of 537 votes in the state of Florida. Were these advertisements crafted to intentionally suppress the vote in Philadelphia? We do not know. Do you believe that it can suppress voters? Absolutely yes. Therefore, I rise to respectfully ask the Pennsylvania Department of State to take down the billboards, stop running the ads, put their energy into educating all voters that, yes, they are indeed able to vote without a voter ID. My second ask goes to those watching, reading, or listening. Mahatma Gandhi said it best, be the change you wish to see in this world. Given current technology, young people, citizens, we are more connected than ever. You do not have to wait for a news media story to be reported. You actually have the power to report the story yourself. Remember those 537 votes in Florida in 2000. Ask yourself, can I reach 537 people by way of Facebook or Twitter? How many friends, families, or colleagues can you send an email to over the next 12 days? How many neighbors, how many doors can you knock on on the block where you live? If you knew that you could change the world by reaching out to 537 people, would you do it? Trust that I will be posting on Facebook and Twitter to alert all Philadelphians you do not need a voter ID to exercise your right to vote. Spread the word. I ask and encourage all my colleagues to do the same. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Chair recognizes